Hello everyone. Today we're looking at LODs again. And this is the third video in my LOD series. The first two will be in the description below. Before I get started, I would just like to ask that my viewers and subscribers would please uh, share my video. Um, share them on your in your groups or on your blogs or whatever. Uh, I make a little bit of money on these videos and I make these videos to try and help people in Second Life. So please uh, help me a little bit and um, share these videos around. And if you really want to help me, um, buy some of my products in Second Life. The first thing I'd like to talk about uh, before we get into the LODs is mesh efficiency. Now, when we look at this um, elephant here, if we go to Avastar and we go to Mesh Info, you can see that the it, this when selected on there, it's only 5,546 triangles. Now, uh, this is uh, there's quite a bit going on here, but yet I'm only use I'm using less than 6,000 triangles on this avatar. And when we talk about triangles, this avatar is, uh, this elephant is made with quads, not triangles. Okay, there's kind of two ways to make meshes. You make them with triangles or quads. Quads, uh, for creators, uh, make things a lot easier. But in the end, everything in Second Life ends up being triangles. And if we want to take a quick look at this elephant in triangles. Let's turn this crap off. Okay. And we select all. I can turn these into all triangles simply by going like this. And that's um, a look at the triangles and how it will actually look in Second Life. But let's undo that because I want to work with quads. Quads are much easier to work with. Uh, especially uh, for loops because loops are kind of important when you're editing a mesh but we're talking about mesh efficiency here this is 6,000 triangles if you the um, uh, big problem in Second Life is that um, not all the creators are um, professional creators and some people are just learning and we tend to get meshes that are more dense than they really should be. So if you're looking at this elephant, you can see that um, my quads are kind of spaced out. Um, they're not on top of each other, really, but dense enough to get quite a bit of detail. Now I can get more detail by using uh, bump maps and uh, specular maps, but uh, we're not going to go into that today. So I just want people to be mindful of their meshes. This elephant, like I said, is under 6,000 triangles. If you were making something less complicated than something like this elephant and you were using more triangles, um, please do consider um, your mesh density and whether you need it or not. Now, let's get into making our LODs. Now, the first, um, this is the original mesh here. So, this uh, is the highest LOD. Um, generally speaking, I tend to use the highest LOD on the high and medium. Um, you can lower your LODs a little bit for the medium and still probably not see a whole lot of difference so it's something you could do um, it's kind of up to up to the creator it does help you a little bit um, but I'm gonna be more or less concentrating on the low LOD and lowest and um, let's kind of get into that so if I select um, an edge here we're on edges and I select an edge if you uh, have created a nice uh, mesh using loops and quads um, you should be able to alt select a whole loop 
So there I've selected a whole loop and uh, I'm going to eliminate or remove this loop here. So I'm hitting X and I want to dissolve the edge here. So it just dissolves it and if I turn my texture on, you can see that the texture hasn't changed. And the one thing you want to look out for when you're doing this are your seams. Now I don't have my seams showing here um, here we go. Uh, no, no. So for whatever reason, this mesh doesn't <laughs> isn't showing the seams. But um, if you look into your UV map, you can see here are your seams. So you do not want to remove edges that make up your seam, okay? Because that's going to distort your texture and everything else. It's going to start to look really ugly. So the edges that you really want to select or remove are the edges within within the seams so now I and I could actually lower eliminate them right on the UV map and everything but we're gonna stick to doing it in the 3d view but like I said you want to stay away from your seams and always remember, you can always hit um, Control Z if you see a seam starting to separate. And of course, it's going to happen in this video sooner or later. Okay, so um, again, I selected an edge and I'm going to select another one. Now, if you don't have these nice clean loops that go around that are all linked together, um, you will have to go in and select an edge and then hold shift and keep selecting your edge all your loop all the way around okay but hopefully you have created your mesh in a way that you can quickly and easily just alt select and select that whole loop and again X dissolve edge okay so I'm losing a little bit of detail as I'm doing this and here's another nice loop we can eliminate okay now remember this is uh, what I'm working on here is the low LOD okay so I want to try and pick and choose the edges selectively to kind of hold and keep as much detail as I can and as you see up here we can see our triangle count going down here too oh that one still shows you one but here we can see the triangle count is going down and even like something like the trunks here 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 we go I can select multiple sets so alt select that's one loop and then, then I can go alt shift and select each one I'm kinda um, going every other kinda loop because we don't need all of them of course, we're trying to eliminate as many as possible to try and get our uh, triangle count as low as possible. So I'm going to keep Alt-Shift-Select on each one of these. Um, that's probably as high as I can go. So X and dissolve those edges. Keeping mindful of where my seam is. I think there's a seam right here. I could probably get rid of this loop and why don't we do the other side too so alt shift and select that one and dissolve that but that's all there is to it really you're just picking and choosing and the goal pretty much is is to kind of try and keep your spaces in between all of the edges similar to each other with similar lengths and similar um, gaps in between them so like these legs could be a very nice set I don't need these two loops here that's uh, I'll probably get rid of these and remember that this um, low LOD is going to be seen from a distance 
so you can you know the goal is to try and eliminate as many as you can and still have it look like an elephant from that distance there oh that's wrong let's check that one that one that one that one but pretty quickly you can see this low LOD starting to take shape and I'm but I'm still holding quite a bit of the elephant intact here um, maybe this loop would be nice it goes all the way around and through the middle that's a nice loop there X and dissolve so but that's all there really is to it and picking and choosing here and there um, where's another nice loop right here would probably be a nice loop we can get rid of and as you can see this loop goes all the way around you know not always gonna have uh, crazy loops like this but that's probably a nice one to get rid of too and look at over here the seam is starting to separate a little now you don't have to worry too much about this let's remember that this LOD is going to be seen at a distance if you want to fix this um, you can go into the UV map oops uh, wrong one there and let's see here uh, if I select this and uh, what's going on here let's not make it see through let's look at verts and select that vert and I can see the vert right here or this one and let's see I want to see the texture so let's look at the texture there and so we have the texture overlapping right here and that's why we're getting this effect here so I can move this in our UV to try and eliminate that gap there and so that's how you would uh, pretty easily correct that of course you want to keep that to a minimum but that's kind of the basics of going kind of edge by edge or loop by loop and eliminating uh, edges as you go, trying to get your triangle count down as low as you can. Now for this elephant, uh, with the max being at, what, 5,500 uh, triangles, I'd probably want to get down to 1,000 or 2,000 triangles for my low. Here's a version I've already done. This is about just over 2,000 triangles. I could probably go a little bit lower with this. Okay. But um, that's a quick look at doing them by hand. For the lowest... For the lowest LOD, I went about it a little bit differently with this elephant. And... I don't advise people to use this tool because Blender has a very nice tool called a decimator. Now, I don't advise people doing it on any, using it on any of your other LODs because, as you could see, I could pretty quickly by hand eliminate those loops and edges and things to try and get it down to this level. But at the lowest level, I'll show you my lowest level LOD. Um, at this lowest level, you're eliminating so many edges and loops that um, it kind of gets crazy. And it, I mean, the decimator can do almost as good a job as I would do by hand. I, maybe I could do a little bit better, but the decimator do, can do a pretty good job. So I'm going to show how to use the decimator to get to this point. So I have um, my low LOD here, and I'm going to, of course, I copied it and placed it on another layer, and I'm going to apply a decimator to it. 
Now, the way this decimator works is uh, as you, you have a ratio here, we're at full 1%, and you can see my triangles here. And as I move this bar across, you can see something happening with the elephant there. Um, the triangles get lower and lower. So I can get this to a point, and the goal here is to get this as low as possible and still keep the overall shape of the elephant, okay? And try and keep the texture as intact as you can. Now let's remember that this lowest LOD is, is only going to be seen from very far away. So you don't have to get too crazy with it, but this is also why I think the decimator is a very nice and quick tool to help you get there without uh, too many problems. So I want to slide this around and get it to a level that I'm comfortable with for my lowest LOD. Now some of this gets really nasty and it's not going to look great, but again, this is going to be seen from a very um, far distance and the goal is to try and keep the shape of the elephant. So I think um, I think my the one I did originally was something in the 300 range. I think that looks pretty good. I'm st starting to fall apart right here with the texture. And uh, sometimes that's what you have to do. You kind of just have to look at a certain area and wait and see how low you can get before it starts to fall apart. Now, even at this level, I could go into the UV map and try and correct this. But um, for purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it right about there. That's not too bad. What am I? Four, 456. Um, maybe just a little bit lower. Uh, I think that's, that's pretty good for a lowest LOD. So um, real quickly... Um, we have the lowest LOD, and that's um, basically it. That's uh, creating LODs by hand. Have a good one, everyone.